Welcome back, everyone. I'm the Rusty Or, and this is Labyrinth of Toho 2. Let's see if we can deal with Flandra. We're floating around level 50 at this point, level 51, give or take. So we may just die immediately. Probably I'll bring in Alice for right now. I don't remember anything specific about uh, Flandra. I know she her second phase, essentially, she just starts spamming her strongest AoEs. Um, she's got really strong single attacks, um, and then she has really strong AoEs, one that does Mystic and the other one that does uh, uh, Fire, which unfortunately, uh, Romelia is vulnerable to Fire, at least somewhat. Where are we at? Hmm, I thought there would be something, uh, there have been something this deep in, but it looks empty. Going on the wrong path gets really annoying, huh? If you were, if, if you were to ask me, I would be more annoyed at choosing the correct path at a fork. Ah, I know that feeling. Didn't peg you for the obsessive compulsive type, though. That is certainly no different from you. Anyway, shall we return to the correct path? I guess I am too. Okay, so yeah, we can't do the boss fight until we have the BP requirements. Got it. So with that in mind... Onwards to the rest of this, then. For now, bring in Nittery. Actually, for now, just Nittery by herself should be fine. She's more than strong enough now. Okay, uh, so what we need to do... Is get all the way to the top. Well, actually, we can do it from the bottom. Yeah, we can do it from the bottom. So, grab that. And then... Go see what else we're missing. Oh, and again, now you send out the cactus. Got it. Well, let's see if this is enough. It missed! It freaking missed! Are you kidding me? Alright, at least you didn't die. You know what? Anything that increases freaking accuracy? Do we want to? That would be a that would be a drop, a huge drop in of attack power. So I don't want to do that. Lambda the driver, nice. I'm just using our Lambert drivers anyway. One's using our Lambert drivers? Guess not. Guess we were finally replaced them. Alright, uh, so that's one area taken care of. Okay, yeah, so we had to do the bottom switch to actually get access to these things. Got it. Not a problem. Alright, good stuff. Alright, another Stone of Awakening to make up for the one we used. Alright, cool. Now we gotta go back, hit that switch again, then go all the way to the opposite corner, hit that switch, and then head down to boss room. And unfortunately, that's going to leave Nidre with low MP, but I'm okay with that. Alright, so yeah, extending arm, unfortunately, is still not strong enough to kill something that's essentially nature incarnate. Alright, uh... Straight up. And then to the left. Ok, 
Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I almost made it. <laughs> Alright, well that's annoying. We were literally a few steps away from the checkpoint. And I have to go back to that corner again. So that's annoying too. Is there anything I could do to make up for that? I mean, I don't want to lose 16 int or 16 MP. But yeah, missing is not been great. So that's the trade-off here, huh? Yeah, give me that, and that should hopefully take care of the accuracy issue. And then, who needs a Glaive of Pain? You do. Anyone else want to use a Glaive of Pain? Sure, you can use it for now. Defense isn't that huge of a deal for you. So try not missing. That's better. I mean, I'm practically done with this floor, so I don't really need to conserve stamina. But it's the it's the principle. Yeah, I don't remember how much BP I need exactly. I think it's two hundred or three hundred for all three of or all four of the SDM characters. Oops. Alright, let's see if we can pull off this boss. Last one kind of hurt us. And with um, Patch or with Nidori's insane levels of speed right now, uh, she should be able to regenerate her MP reasonably quick in this fight. Okay. Here goes nothing. Hmm? Oh, what up? what's up? I feel something weird about from around here. Something weird? Yes, and the feeling's getting stronger by the second. Ah, is it because of that monster over there? What's that supposed to be anyway? It doesn't look familiar to me. Then it's an enemy. Sure feels like one anyway. I doubt it'll let us, uh, let us just walk away either. Let's do this. Alright, Mirror of Golden Gleam. Which did that to us, apparently. Uh, it inflicted heavy on Romelia. Good for her. Alright, so for this, we're going to do Lunar Clock. And then we're going to tag out you. Honestly, Alice, you're kind of disappointing. <laughs> Just going to say it. Whatever you've been doing, I'm not feeling it. God, you're way too fast. Oh wow, your patch only outspeeds racing. Normal, weak, normal, weak. Okay, so we can either do nature or cold. Uh, nature is more accurate for whatever reason. But she apparently is pretty resistant. Uh, let's try Lunatic Red Eyes. Mine down, perfect. So we're about to get hit with something, so let's tag somebody out. It's the back row, huh? Alright.
resistant to physical. Yeah, super resistant to physical. Alright then, we'll just hit you with this then. Holy cow, your defenses. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Healing, not really. Concentrate. Okay, mine down again. That attack's about to come, so let's do uh, this for now. Okay. Kind of curious to see how well Discarder does, so... Twenty thousand again? Okay. Seems to be mostly magic, which we're actually... We got decent... We have characters that are decent at mind, so that's not too bad. You guys are just fine. Um, so yeah, we'll try to discard her, but I don't think it's going to do much. It wasn't bad. Nice. Yeah, this thing's a physical powerhouse, it looks like. Okay, so that um, drained everyone's MP, including the back row. He's a, an issue right now. <laughs> Jeez, Alice. <laughs> I might go ahead and just reset her, use the Toma Reincarnation on her and just... Like, she has... Uh, her tripwire is maxed out right now, um, but that doesn't actually increase the chance of the debuff happening. But it does... If it does connect, it does like 30% speed debuff, which is really good. But it doesn't matter if it doesn't ever connect, ever. Yeah, Kamachu has devoted... Well, even if I had devoted skill levels to hers, which doesn't increase the chances, hers has been actually working. So, yeah. That's a thing. How's everyone holding up? Okay. Do I want to do Lunatic Red Eyes or... We'll do Discarder. Hey, poison worked! I haven't seen poison work in forever! And there you go!
a little bit messy. Fragment of Mithril, looks like we didn't get any of the drops. Um, Wisdom Gem and Magic Gem for our bonus. Hmm. Fighting that made me feel like a, a bit like I was fighting Tenchi. Her Ame no Murakuma gave off a similar vibe. It did. And what's that supposed to mean? I'm not sure either. Well, it doesn't look like there's much else for uh, here for us either. Let's move on. Sure isn't. Yeah, we're just gonna go back and save. So I think part of the reason why we um, are we were able to tank a little bit better, I did devote a bunch, all my cash to buffing up uh, Romelia and Mei Ling's defense in mind, so they can actually stay in the front lines. So that helped, seemed to help quite a bit. So yeah, their mind is actually comparable to Patchouli's, and since that our opponent was all magic essentially, we were able to just kind of tank everything. So it wasn't too bad. All right, so with all that said and done, let's go. All right, so yeah, that, those metal rocks were not for the um, extra content. It was for those bosses. Okay, patch, uh, Nettery, you have one job. It's to not die. Alright, easy enough. Boop. Wait, which way do we need to go now? Or is... Looks like there's a second half to all this. The Mosca Stread Shield, got it. Stairs going down. Ah, Remu and Marissa. Huh? That voice sounds familiar. It's me. I haven't seen you for two whole floors. So, Aku, your clothes are, look all torn up. What happened to you? Yeah, about that. I was wondering about doing my best uh, to keep going upwards when suddenly some dangerous celestial who was glowing gold showed up. Then she started swinging some sword at me. I gave as best as I, as I had, but that, but that celestial was super powerful. I figured I was no match, so I turned tail and ran. Ah, so those Damaku traces and sword marks we found on this floor were from you and Tenchi. Erg, I was just minding my own business and she attacked me out of nowhere. I, I get furious just thinking about it. That Celestial seems to have uh, camped out in a place close by. I want to get revenge, but I can't handle her myself. So I waited for your group to come along. Ah, uh, I get it. So that's why uh, you were hiding here. Yep, so let me join up and let's make that Celestial cry out for mercy together. Mm, what a coincidence. We have quite a history with that Celestial as well, and she's definitely deserves, she definitely deserves a c good kicking. Yep, sounds good to me. Sawaka, let's team up and give Tenchi a painful visit. I was waiting for that reply. Count me in. Let's get fired up and go. Sawaku, uh, Sawaku Moria has joined the party. So yeah, she's got some... I think she's... I don't... I don't know, I don't remember too much about her, and I know in the previous game I think she had, it was like her single targets were like physical, and then her AoEs were magic based. Um, and she had access to essentially, you know, nature and um, cold based spells, and then she had a really, uh, she had a pretty good paralysis attack as well. Which probably inflicts, I think inflicts heavy in this game. But we're not going to worry too much about it since I don't intend on using her. I may bring in Kaneko though, because we can use another spellcaster that uh, does heavy damage, like with uh, like Patchouli. And Kaneko is actually tanky as well, so that might be an option. And of course, we got Flandre coming up as well, but Flandre's going to be mostly physical. Treasure chest key. Flandre does have composite AoEs, but you don't really want to use them usually, unless you're absolutely certain it'll kill. Because if it doesn't, it will kill you instead. Alright, good connections. It looks like the Tenchi boss is going to be level 50. 
Love Machine 3322. I think we'll be okay, but I'm not sure. Biggest issue with Tenchi is she's also a very tanky, bulky character. And if she's just like the previous attempt, she's going to wreck me the moment I put buffs up. Which does have some uses. If we can put it on a character that can actually tank it, maybe that'll be fine. Alright. Didn't take too long to clear this area out. And there's our last checkpoint there. Alright. Go at this with a nearly depleted Nidoray. I think that'll be fair enough, since she's overly equipped. So yeah, I'm most concerned about the back row. If we can get debuffs up, that would be nice. Alright, good luck. Ugh. Ugh, how strange. My body isn't moving the way I wanted to. I thought I was getting used to it. Is this the limit of a celestial's power? Why, hello there. Your body isn't moving the way you want to, hmm? That's music to my ears. That's exactly what we wanted to happen anyway. That's why Yukari and Hijiri and us were breaking out all the guerrilla tactics on you. Tenshi, it looks like the Ame no Murakumo is a toy that's too much for you. Or have you all in your mouths. You don't look as lively as before. How about how about it, Tenchi? Want to tie yourself up and save us the trouble? Don't mess with me. Even with a body like this, I can still crush each and every one of you. Ha! Huh, let's see if you can back up your talk. We'll defeat you and put an end to this incident. Alright, so you're paralyzed and heavy. Good. Been resisting the heavy effect from my uh, my buff. That's been kind of nice. So the yeah, outsister defense. Eh, I can punch it. That's not too bad. Uh, lunatic red eyes. There we go. Debuff mind. So it's down. Reduce that buff a bit. Normal, 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 resistant, normal. Not good enough, it looks like. Alright. Alice. Discarder. Oh cool, I'm actually hitting our speed now. I applied heavy, that's good. Ow! That, unfortunately, was not good. But at least we got that focused on you, at least. Uh, let's actually tag you in. Silence, nice. There we go. Minus 50% mind, perfect. Can't really rely on buffs here, because I will get wrecked otherwise, so... Oh. Well, we got hit with that. <laughs> That's just going to make things a bit more interesting. Alright. So this is going to be a bit of an issue. I'm guessing it's because of all the debuffs. It's just, it's pissing her off.
Yeah, she's just spamming it. So something's up. I can't get the paralysis off anyway. Okay, so that's coming. Do what you can. Take it. Okay, state of alignment. Not gonna be able to do much about that. Okay, good. Alright, if that's the case, we should be able to just do whatever we want now. Okay. I'm glad that uh, Mountain Breaker pierces defenses somewhat, else this would be a very, much longer fight. thought that Mei Ling would be the savior here. I actually don't have enough to finish you off. Alright. Mei Ling's avoided that attack every time. It's really nice. I do believe- I think um, the SDM buff does apply to um, Um, defense uh, to evasion and, ac and um, accuracy as well. Also, I should have tagged in Saki a bit sooner because that would have buffed them even further. Great Hammer, Celestials, uh, Hago Romo, Dragon's Whiskers, Life Gem, and Magic Gem. Ugh, this should not have happened. Oh. Yes, how's that, Tinchi? The third time's always the charm. Ah, looks like she's passed out. Really? How boring. I was hoping to rub it in even more. Ah, uh, well, let's get the Ame no Murakuma back and call it a day. I had thought that, that a Celestial would make better use of me. Yet those are those who are unqualified to control Heaven have their limits. Uh, did you say something? Marissa, did you hear that? Whose voice was that? That voice it is undoubtedly the one I heard from the subterranean depths. The Ame no Murakuma is floating. What is going on? Ah, I understand it all now. Huh, another voice. It's me. I finally caught up. I'm here too. Looks like we reached here at a good time. Ame no Murakuma, you have become a Suko, uh, Sukumo Gami, haven't you? Ah, it has been a very long time since, we, it, since it emerged from the Yama, uh, Yamata no Orochi's tail. In that time frame, it has taken in the fierce emotions of many humans in the midst of battle. It does fulfill all the conditions to become one. Er, what does that mean? It's exactly what we said. The Ame no Murakuma became a Tsukumogami. It is no longer just a divine sword, as it now has been given life. It seems to have been manipulating Tenchi in some fashion as well. An item which has manifested into a Tsukumogami would first aim to accomplish its, their role as an item. My, you two as well. 
If we continue thinking along such lines, do recall that the Ame no Murakuma uh, possesses the ability to control heaven. As a Sukumogami, the first thing it would do, uh, would do would be to undertake means to bring everything under its control. Which would be why, it's in its brutal honesty, it created the great tree that reaches the heavens. Oh my, everyone's here now. It has been a lo long time. It seems we have arrived in time for the finale. Er, uh, I'm slowly getting it now, I think. So basically, it's the sword itself that's the bad guy here, not Tenchi. It likely targeted a celestial due to their powers that resemble the gods. After controlling a celestial's body as its own, it then used the body to scale the tree in an attempt to become that which governs heaven. I suppose that that's why Tenchi's behavior seemed to get more and more unstable as time passed. Hmm, I see now. So in short, we're gonna ha gonna fight the final boss's second form now. Not a bad summary. We should deal with it, it uh, with it at all haste, as the great trees. Tree itself appears due to the Amai no Murakuma's power. Overcoming the Amai no Murakuma itself should make the Great Tree disappear at some point. To defy the power of the ages of gods, foolish beings. Huh, trying to sound confident after losing Tenchi's body. Bad guys always boast about themselves in that style when they're in a pinch. And then they f they get defeated by the Allies of Justice after. Don't forget to close uh, with, This can't be happening! You dream hopelessly of victory. Come, your arrogance, your insolence, I shall crush them all. Huh. Well, thank you for taking my two primary tanks again. It's what I always wanted. So yeah, this, as you can see, the boss is level 120, so we're not going to be getting anywhere with that. You can do some damage to it. All enemies, enemy row, single enemy. Yeah, that ain't doing anything. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, it's heading for 8,000, so it is doing what you could expect from this. It does have a hit point amount, but really the only way we can hurt it is with Shikiaki. Oh, speed down actually worked. I'm surprised. Well, here goes nothing. Holy crap! Oh, my goodness, that was rather... You cheater, you've got way more power than what Tenchi drew out from you. The ignorant who swing a divine sword like a mere blade of steel, the enlightened who draw out the true power of the divine sword, the difference is no less obvious than night and day. Interfere no further, maidens. Mercy will not be delivered a second time. Gah, I thought defeating Tenchi was going to be the grand finale. Who would have thought that Ame no Murakuma would become a Tsukumagami, and such a strong one at that. So that is the situation as it is now, do you understand? Yeah, I've, I've got it all figured out now, so to sum it up, what I should say now is I'm alright, I am no longer under his control. Marissa, please give her a good kicking. Sure. Ow, why'd you do that? That basically summed up the situation. What situation are you talking about? The, fr the, the friend turns to the enemy's side. After many battles between them, the allies find out that their friend is being manipulated by the true mastermind. And now the brainwashing has been undone. And the friends joined hands against the true enemy. How oh, a wonderful climax for our story. Mercer, give her a good kicking. Sure. Ow! 
What was that for? I didn't say anything wrong. Who's who's this friend of yours you keep speaking of? Certainly no one I know. Just ignore that pa part then. Being possessed and used at someone's whim makes me really mad. I don't care if it's a divine sword or whatever. I want to beat it up. Let's take out that gold hairy sword together. You keep saying things like possessed and brainwashed, but you were totally yourself on the sixth floor, weren't you? The dual wielding beautiful swords was a bo wo woman, wasn't it? That was so you. No way, I was possessed from the beginning. I couldn't do anything. Uh-huh, let's move on to the more important topic, shall we? Particularly, how shall we deal with the upward bound Ame no Murakumo from now onwards? Even you ask, can we, what can we do about it? Are you giving up so quickly from a single beating? No, of course not. We lost to Tenchi constantly, but we kept at it and emerged the victors in the end. We can make sure that the high and mighty sword meets the same fate. Oh my, I'm pleased to see that you have no intention of yielding. We shall be pursuing the sword on its ascension as well. Ah, you're not coming with us? Hmm. We do not have sufficient inf information on the sword as, as of yet. I believe it would still be most effective to act separately at this juncture. That may be tr uh, may well be true. You, Yuko, shall we be off as well? All right. Good day to you all of you. Don't be too disheartened at your lo at the loss. We should make haste as well. Indeed. Now that the true culprit has been unmasked, we must stop it promptly. Raymond and Marissa, be careful in your explorations as well. Hmm. I think we are pr plenty careful already. Anyways, let's keep aiming upwards. Our adventure begins now, huh? Ah, exploring the great tree that appeared in the center of Gensokia, battling it against enemies together and clashing with the true mastermind. I love these kind of plots. Hold it right there. Why are you acting as if you're one of us? I'm not acting. I'm, I'm, I am already one of us. What, what? What? You don't want me around? Eldest daughter, shall we leave this to Reimu and her group? We should be returning to heaven. Rejected. I refuse. Who would go back home and leave something so fun behind? Besides, you, you expect me to run away after what that... That sword did to me? I'm a proper celestial. I wouldn't ever do that. Are you in that your delinquent way is really an example of a proper celestial? Whatever Tenji thinks, having Eco leave would be painful for us, and I suppose we are we've already absorbed plenty of people. Fine, you can come along, Tenji. I'd rather have both of you along than have both of you leave. I knew you understand, Reimu. Don't worry, you'll see I'm pretty good at this. Uh, I don't care anymore. Tenji Hina uh, Hina Nawe has joined the party. Alright, so Tenchi is the other tank. Um, she is essentially the exact opposite of Kamachi, as I probably mentioned in the past. Low HP, but extremely high um, growth in defense and magic, so she can essentially just hurt. The idea is just to get her defenses up so she just takes zero damage. So her only weakness is against anything that does a lot of piercing. And what I was mentioning before about the post-game content, I believe these rocks... Yes. Only those who have the power of the Divine Sword may pass. Same thing here. And the infamous fire floors. Oh, it's hot. No, it's burning. Just when I thought we had escaped the desert, it would be dangerous to stay in this heat for too long. We tend to go back to the village as soon as we get tired, so the heat itself shouldn't be too much of a, prob of a problem. The trees on fire all around us worry me a bit more. Hmm, the trees are burning, but it, the fire itself doesn't seem to be spreading as, as you would expect. Which is strange, considering how fierce the fire is. That's probably because of the trees as well. Look at this. Uh, this tree's branches. There's a bit of magic oozing from it. That bit of magic seems to be providing the fuel for, for the fire. So it'll be a bit like the gas uh, range that... Uh, sorry. So it'll be like the, the gas range that Rizunizuki ha has at his house. That thing uh, can kind of control fire by slowly emitting some kind of atmosphere that burns easily. Hey, yeah, that's a good analogy. Ah, I see. That is something I'm more familiar with. The heat that these flames exude is no less harsh than a real fire, though. The journey will be even tougher than the desert. Huh. You're getting all weak in the knees over a bit of warmth, Iku? How shameful. Man, someone sure, for sure forgot about all the stunts she pulled as an enemy real quickly. My goodness, Marissa. Are you still going on about that? How we're unrefined. Haven't you realized how cool the situation is? The rival fam uh, finally became, becomes an ally, then they join forces to take down the true enemy. What? Rival? And in the first place, if you didn't lay a finger on the Ame no Murakuma, this whole incident wouldn't have happened. Ugh, weren't you listening to it, Rainbow? It already became a uh, Sukomagami and att attained its own will. Even if I didn't do it, the same thing would have happened anyway. That may well have been the case, but to, the, to have the person who started the whole ruckus to be so proclaiming her innocence in such a manner is a little... 
sh shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Let's let's just keep moving. If if we don't stop the Ame no Murakuma fast, Gensoki is in big trouble. We're the heroes who have to protect everyone's peace and happiness. When did our objective become so grand again, Reimu? Reimu, she's misrepresenting us. Uh, and here we are. So yeah, this is the infamous um, fire floors. Uh, they are practically... All of them run off this temperature mechanic. And to get through these little passageways, you have to ha be within a certain temperature range. Uh, needless to say, some people will go through the process of just having the wiki open to go through all the steps. Um, I usually try to figure it out on my own. Um, this was definitely probably a negative point for some of the reviews. Personally, I don't mind it. It gives me more time. The, the more time I fumble around here, the more experience and loot I gather, which I desperately need. So, I'm going to go ahead and head back to the home base real quick. And uh, yeah, we have Tenshi. Uh, I'm probably going to end up dropping Alice. She's just not working as a debuffer as much as I would like her to be. Oh, wait, her tripwire is not max, but even if it... The tripwire's hit rate doesn't increase whenever you upgrade it. So either way, you're still kind of screwed. I don't know. Well, I'll, I'll consider it. Um, but if you if you find out that Alice is gone at some point, then you probably know what my decision was. In any case, this video on, went on a bit long, so I apologize. I am the Depressed Eeyore. This was Labyrinth of Toho 2. Um, I'll see you guys next time.